Hello, my name is Dr. Stella Snyder and I am the co-chair of Latinos with Trump. Yes, Latinos with Trump. And we're way more than you think. Actually, right now, the statistics that we have is that uh, we have in Florida, uh, excuse me a second, 29% of Latino vote. In Arizona, 18%. In Nevada, 19%. And the LA Times has a Latino vote of 34.4%. Only 19 points below Hillary Clinton. Yet, she significantly, she significantly underperforms Obama. Okay? So, why to vote for Trump? You know, people ask me as a Latina. Well, let me tell you. Trump is the only one that is going to be able to keep us safe, is the only one that is going to legalize all of the 11 million people that do not have a criminal background. He's going to find a way through a particular, that he hasn't talked about it, you know, immigration uh, reform into how to go out and come back in an expedite manner. He has said it many, many times. He's going to detail how in the future, and you never know. Maybe you won't have to go out, but that's up to him to say. Mr. Trump has lower taxes, better economy, increased jobs, better security. We need a permeable wall. Nobody talks about the big door. That's why I say permeable. The same as in our body, we have cells with membranes that we are protecting us from virus, Bacteria, we need a wall. The same way that Mexico has a wall in the south border, but nobody talks about that. They only accuse Trump of being racist. Trump is not racist. Trump is for America first. So all of the Latins, I want to tell you, you know, if you're voting for America and for America first, Trump is the man. We're not voting for an election in Mexico or Central America or in South America. There is no problems there. And it's not up to us to solve those problems, although we can help in the future. But for that, we need a leader, a leader that is going to help also the cartels to stop. And that's going to help both South America, Central America, Mexico, and most of all, the United States, because the United States is first. So, I am Dr. Stella Snyder, and I want to remind you, yes, I'm a woman, I support Trump, I'm Jewish, I support Trump, I'm Mexican, I support Trump. He's the only one that talks and tells about the big elephant, white elephant in the room, that nobody wants to hear about it, but he says and labels the problems, and the only way we can solve a problem is when we label the problem. He wants everybody. He wants law and order. That's what he wants. I don't know why are you trying to make the worst out of Mr. Trump. Just look at his family. All of his children are even married you know, to Jewish people. All of his grandchildren are Jewish. He gives jobs to women. He pays the best uh, salaries to women. Now you talk about his taxes. It's not a requirement to turn in the taxes. He gave his financial statement. Now you talk about how can he lose $950 billion. I want to ask, how is it that Hillary Clinton lost or misplaced, misplaced $6 billion? You know, that's the question that you need to be asking. Trump used the law for a carryover of losses that he had already paid taxes with. And everybody at all levels, whether you lose a thousand dollars or a billion dollars, you can have a carryover and it is legal. Now, if it needs to be changed in the future, let's let him change it. And he's the one that knows the most about taxes to change that. But for the moment, he's not the one that implemented those tax codes. He's the one, as everybody else in America, that has used those tax codes for our benefit. And we all can do it included Hillary Clinton, that she has done it. So, please, this is why I vote for Mr. Trump. November 8th, please go out, get informed, and vote for Trump. Thank you.